everyone, it is me, Mr. Fossil, and I'm back with another video. Today is a video about the cats. I just want to talk about them, and this is an update about them. I have two things that are really important to tell you guys about them. So without further ado, let's get started. The first update is about Little Red's kittens. As you see, they're not out. Little Red had five kittens. Two that look like her, two that are gray, and one black one. However, I only made one video only showing four, since one of them that looked like Little Red actually was hiding. But there, there will be no more kitten videos, because they are adopted. We actually got them better homes, because we do not want to see them running around exposed in the elements like all the cats here. It's good that we saved them, and, I, and they are now living in good homes and are going to have good lives. The kittens were born underneath here and underneath the tarp, and they usually crawled out up to here and underneath here, the kittens used to be. But yeah, the kittens are adopted and are having better lives now. Down here, um, the cats are feeding, um, but um, the cat in the center near the tree is a little red. Little Red recently got fixed, just yesterday. We didn't want her to have any more kittens for this year was her third litter. And um, we had to say that's enough, because you know, if cats keep on having babies, there will be more cats running around and more to take care of. But, yeah. So we had to get her fixed, and a couple of our neighbors actually helped us get her fixed along with a few other cats, like Mittens, he's one of Little Red's previous kittens, who's now an adult, along with this black cat, and um, this other cat that was gray, but that doesn't come here. But um, Little Red was fixed yesterday, we got her in the cage, it actually took us a while to get her in the cage, but um, we got her in, she struggled, she meowed, and you know, she doesn't come into the house yet, and she actually doesn't really meow, she actually lost her meow. But I'm hoping she gains that back, and I'm hoping, you know, she lets us pet her, which she does let us, let us pet her, but we're hoping that she could come into the house, but she's straying towards the door. So we're hoping that she does come back into the house like she usually does. But, you know, she has to get used to us again and used to the house, because, you know, being put into a cage and being tricked by the ones that you love and the ones who take care of you, you know, you're not going to trust them. So it's the same with Little Red. But I'm hoping eventually that she does get attached to us. She still lets us pet her, but we're hoping that she can come back into the house eventually. Because we actually, um, earlier before I started recording this, we actually tried to get her into the house by giving her some wet food, but um, she only came in, but then when I closed the door, she ran out. So she's not going to come into the house because she doesn't trust us that much, but we're hoping she does gain trust in us again. But you know, that's good. it's going to take a while, just like with her meow. But I'm hoping that she heals. But she's doing fine. But I'm just hoping that she eventually will get used to coming into the house again and she'll regain her meow and she'll love us. But um yeah, she's doing fine. But that is all that I have to say about the cats and I hope you enjoyed this video. And my next video might be a dinosaur video. I gotta get back into my dinosaur content, which I have been saying, but I kept on postponing. So my dinosaur series, if you're gone to World of Dinosaurs, might return. Along with um Mechanical Beast. But yeah, um, see you in the, in the next video, and have a nice day, and stay safe and well. Bye.